So this is a variation on a dead bug. And um, a dead bug is a type of core activation. Um, this is one that I like to use clinically. It's a, it's a bit of a regressed or an easier version than a, a dead bug, but it's a really, really fantastic way to really truly engage the core. So what it looks like in this case is you are going to find yourself on your back. So in this case, what we're going to want to do before we even start is you're going to take a nice big deep breath in and on the exhale, what I would like you to think of doing is pulling the belly button to the spine and then pressing the lower back into the floor. So it looks like this, breath in and exhale, belly button to spine and back into the floor. So now that's the posture we wanna maintain throughout this exercise. And we should be able to maintain that while we breathe. So that's another version of the exercise. If you, are having a hard time maintaining breath while maintaining contact with the floor here, just hang out here. That's all you need. If you're ready and you'd like to progress, what we're going to do is we're going to maintain that contact here in the belly button to the spine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take right hand and left knee, and they're going to come together. Then what you're going to do is take a breath in, and on the exhale, you're going to press these two together. At the same time as you do that, you're going to reinforce that low back pressure on the floor. And so now, the purpose of this isn't to activate the hip flexor in the shoulder. We're not just doing this. We are doing this. So we're approximating these two structures by using the abdominal wall here. So we're not, if my hand was not connected, we'd be pressing like that and not just hinging through the hip and the arm. So it's very much a core abdominal contraction as we do so. Then maintaining that low back, we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna go right knee to left hand, breath in, exhale and press. Inhale. Exhale, opposite. Inhale, exhale, opposite. And you can repeat that to do five to 10 on each side. So your total might be 10 altogether, might be 20, whatever feels comfortable for you. Do not go beyond fatigue if you're doing this through the, for the purpose of just activating the core. Um, but that should be a really fantastic way to activate things. Now, if you're someone who sits at a desk typically and you'd like to do these exercises at work, um, sometimes it's not so easy to get yourself on the floor. So a nice alternative op option is to get yourself seated. And same idea here. If you get yourself seated, you can have your feet on the floor ideally with this. Same thing, you're gonna take a nice big deep breath in. On the exhale, belly button to spine. We've got the core engaged. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press opposite hand to knee, breath in. On the exhale, we're going to press. So same thing, I'm using my core to bring these two together on the exhale. I'm not lifting the knee and pressing the shoulder. I'm And when they're touching, it looks like this. Same thing, breath in. And exhale, breath in, switch. Exhale, and you're going to repeat again five to 10 times on each side, alternating if you want to do that seated version. Either way, you feel a great core activation. And so let me know what you think. Which one do you prefer? Enjoy.